I just have this as my webcam. I think we're going. I think we're live now. I just had to take the webcam off the Discord. <laughs> I think we're live now. You showing the damn thing. <laughs> I think it was too close to focus on it because it was getting kind of pixely. It shows that when I'm on Twitch, it says we're offline still. It does. Yeah, I don't see what you're watching. What else I got? Oh, I got Gump's favorite guy. <clears throat> no, I'm not good. <laughs> He's not my guy. Hey, what's this guy say again? I can see it. We're live. What's he say? What's he Where? say, Gump? Hey, let me turn my porn up. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, yep, because we're live now. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Are you live so you turn it up? Yeah, hold on. I don't know. Do you know ETC's name? Is it ETC or is it like something else? Who's ETC? I mean, is, is it an abbreviation or is it just ETC? Uh, abbreviated? It's Elite Torin Chieftain or Elite Torin Chief. I love dragons. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love dragons. Eighty-five. Hey, welcome to the recess. <laughs> hey, hey, Steve. What? Steve, you should just replace your webcam with everybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes pretty big. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, well, what's that? Uh, <laughs> uh, he said he was never a fan of kissing something. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Got the tail into that one. Yeah, dude. Turn your porn down. I, 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 I did. I think I've, <laughs> oh, I think I've seen that flick, too. He said, I've seen that flick? <laughs> well, I've seen that flick, and it's got a happy ending. What? Oh, gross. Stop it. You watch it too. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's all bad. Oh, what's Anyways. up? What's up, TFK? Trucha? YOLO party? YOLO party? I locks that. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up in the hazy? What up, what up, what up in the hazy? What's going on? How was your week, Mark? Oh, yeah, you never got us started. What? We Welcome. live now, baby. We live now, baby. From remote, <laughs> remote locations. Uh, Welcome to Weekly Reset. It's the reset. Oh, damn it. At home edition. <laughs> uh... more, more, more like, yeah. more like a riot edition. Yeah. yeah. Craig, Craig, I'm trying not to get stabbed. Stab. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, he Steven. Says, he says, stabby, stabby. <laughs> he said, yeah. If you got well, rated Steven, by 10,000 uh, viewers, what would your reaction be and what would you say? If you got. Um, I would I... say, Lapa, set a thousand, set a humor with you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> And then, yeah, no, he's right. and then I hit you with that swoo swoo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> swoo swoo. I'm gonna start cracking the beer open. Yeah, hey man, hold on, man. Let me answer Steven real quick, dog. My week was straight, dude, up until you know last night. Yeah, it was getting kind of crazy. Is that the last one? Mm -hmm. Dude, you, you oh. drink the last Yum Town? This isn't even Yum Town. Ooh, what, what is, is that it? one? Oh, that's the that's the uh, vegetarian oh. one. Yeah, the oh, what? That's hey, nasty. You, you go yeah, ahead. That's gross, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that was nasty. I thought you took the Yum Town, man. <laughs> no, I wish I took the Yum Town, but I did take the strawberry blondie. So that one's my second. Ooh, Marlon liked Ooh. that one, dude. Whoa, that was good. I got the uh, 
urban artifact, dude. God, this one was awful. Why did I grab this? <laughs> He's like, I like the designs. <laughs> yeah, it's colorful. You know, I got the young town. Oh, Steve got the oh, young yeah. town, dude. Yeah. Oh, he got oh, the last one. He was out of his place. <laughs> I mean, I cracked open a poet uh, earlier. You know, I like That's New Holland. Cool. You know how I do, dude. But right now, I'm sipping on some Crown uh, Peach, dude. Can you so, show the camera? Yep. See it? Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right. Sweet, dude. All right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Um, yeah, like I said, it's getting kind of crazy out here, Steve. But we'll get into that a little later. Let's Why were you downtown? No, but I was being Whoa! I like that bottle. That is cool, yeah. dude. Yeah, 1800, bro. Yeah, yeah. it's solid. Hey, dude, you just got a yeah, bottle of this shit. shit. You just got a it. bottle. I don't know. I was about to say keep something. That shit that side, dude. <laughs> he pulled hey, it up man. quick too, dude. He said, he "I pulled it up I'm quick." Pull out a little bit. You, know, you just need a drink. Dang, dude, you made it sound kind of. Hey, man, you're an alcoholic, guess. dude. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Stop it. <laughs> Do not defend this man. He is an alcoholic, and he already acknowledged it. Dude, come on now. What? I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's right. Sometimes you just need a drink, dude, but I ain't no alcoholic. He's not an alcoholic either, and Steve isn't either. Yeah, yeah. Right, oh. Steve? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, cool. Well, <laughs> I... Uh... <sighs> I think we need to, uh, you know, take a sip for the uh, for everything that's going on downtown, man. There's people scared. Uh, it's all kinds of windows being broken into. Did you watch the live stream I sent you? Uh, not the one you sent me, but Elise was showing me one last night. It was kind of crazy. Like, literally, I just watched somebody. He was walking down the sidewalk. Like, it was just, like, regular. And they just took, like, a piece of wood or something and just, like, bashed this window. And I was like, oh, my gosh. This is this is kind of crazy. But yeah, yeah, nothing has really fucked the police, like, bashing a window open. Yeah, yeah it's was... a little destructive. But, I mean. I was watching uh, this one. <clears throat> Uh, person, she was like just following everybody doing stuff. She was just kind of recording everything that was going on, like different parts of the city. And uh, uh, I see this like familiar storefront. Some dude just like threw something through the window, and then they busted the door down. I was like, damn, what what store is that? And she pans up. She's like, oh, this is Vault of Midnight. And I was like, oh man, dude, she's gonna take all the comic books and all of the like oh, rare collectibles man. and shit. They just like were shoving stuff out the window to each other. It was crazy. Yeah, man. It, it's nuts down there. <clears throat> like, people were just burning cars just to, to burn cars. Half of the stuff of the cars that were burning weren't even police cars. It was just like, literally just like, it could have been even people that were protest protesting peacefully getting their cars burned, which is crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah. It was very destructive, but... I think one important thing to remember, I mean, I'm not saying it's right, but I think just before we start getting all, you know, judgy and, well, I mean, it's wrong, no matter how you put it, but it's important not to lose sight of, like, the real, the real, you know, terror here, you know, yeah, people, people are expressing their frustrations in a negative manner, but I think... The worst part about it is that this isn't the first time we've seen this. This isn't the last time we've seen this. You know, just, I don't know. Our our country's history kind of plagues us. You know, I don't know. that's just my input on it. But, I mean, now, I know. Now, Go do you ahead. think, do you think, like, this, like, let's say, like, the stuff, we'll just use, like, the stuff that happened downtown last night an example do you think people doing that stuff in this city is justifiable or do you think that these people are doing the wrong thing I was, um go ahead very gray oh, no, area, you, you, in my opinion right. it is very gray what i was gonna say which I, I was talking to mark about this earlier um so is it justifiable ultimately probably not 
But if you are going to pop off and do some shit like this and you're going to say, you know, fuck the police, you need to channel all that energy and hatred on the police. the police. Right. Not my not my Sundance grill. Where am I going to go on Thursdays now, bitch? Well, we were talking <laughs> about this. We we're, no. we were, we were talking about this earlier and like uh, um, like a lot of those businesses, you know, like like they didn't even care who the owners were they don't even care who like works there they were just like you know messing stuff up for no reason and i feel like the same way like if you're gonna do that stuff like focus on like government buildings and like police stations and whatever but they took out my son dude pretty much <laughs> uh, that's exactly how i feel like just breaking into random buildings and is not the right thing to do yeah like one of the guys that had the it was, it was like a black guy that actually came from like a, a really rough area of town. Like, you know, he, he got out of the ghetto area and had his own shop down there. And he was, you know, begging them not to break into his shop. And they fucking looted his shit. Like, yeah, I saw fucking, that video. It was fucking Borderlands, dude. They fucking well, popped his shit open. Like, and then, like, like, a lot of this, a lot of this now, like, I don't feel like we even should call them like protesters anymore. Like, some of the stuff is just like looters and like rioters, man shouldn't even call them protesters because there's been a lot of good protests and stuff like that and like, i mean they had a, they had a peaceful protest country. earlier that day right and yeah, then, yeah it literally it literally yeah. like started went, i think went, at went four smooth. it was good up until the moment nightfall hit like and it, even that's... even the even the organizers were like those people are not with us we don't condone this kind of stuff like, yeah like okay. there were a lot of good peaceful protesters I mean, like, I understand that some of the people that are frustrated out there, but some of those people, honestly, weren't even there to fight for that cause. They they were just there because they wanted to start looting and rioting just for no reason. Yeah. And yeah. they're using this as a as a scapegoat to just yeah cause like, mayhem. Like, yeah, these guys aren't gonna do anything. These guys are preoccupied. Like, where we can get away <clears throat> scot free. And a lot yeah. of these people that are coming into town, like, and doing this stuff, aren't even from here. Like. They're yeah, coming from nope. other cities and neighboring cities and like even neighboring states and just like doing stuff because it's like going to be harder to like catch them doing these types of things. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Like I read in the, the Detroit area where people were looting and rioting down there, like half of them were like, like the, the police like apprehended, like they said like about 60% of the people that they grabbed weren't even close to the Detroit area. They're like out and like, an hour or two hours away um because they were just there just to yeah because these organized up. these organized groups that like break into these stores and stuff like they're not going to do it in their city that they stay like that's just dumb like they're gonna drive you know a ways to like neighboring cities and do what they were gonna do and then then there's like a less chance that somebody finds them like later on right i mean it's gonna be hard to identify them every anyway just because you know the, the previous circumstance with the coronavirus, everyone yeah. was masked up and everything. So, yeah, like, yeah everyone own, owns a mask now. Yeah, like, like, y'all ain't gonna catch me. You were that black guy that's down there last night, right? It's, I don't know. Exactly. It's crazy. Like all these people, like minimum wage people, had to go from like making minimum wage, you know, working like their normal job to like having to deal with the being on the front lines and front lines and you know dealing with like a pandemic to like now their stores are getting burned down and they don't have a place to work anymore <laughs> it's like crazy yeah still didn't get that stimulus check though right what oh my gosh <laughs> am, I, am i still getting my uh my trump money or <laughs> i mean oh my gosh come on now it's 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 called a, a, a riot fund dude Who's yeah. that? Well, all these people that are out there fucking looting shit, they need you to stop. Go home, play some Borderlands. There's some, yeah. there's some new downloadable content. You can get all the loot you want there. <laughs> there's some new downloadable content. Yeah. It's just frustrated and angry people that need to find a new outlet. But mm -hmm. I get it. I mean, it. It, and it's not just the people that are doing it because of the incident, too. Like, there's, like, a lot of layers to it. Because, like, you got to think, like, there's probably people that were upset about like the stay at home order from the coronavirus and stuff like that yeah and they're just like locked in and like you know they're just at home not working you know I, and they see this opportunity and they're just like well fuck it let's 
Yeah. That was like another side we we're talking about. Is like a lot of these people are probably people you know that like don't have a lot restless. of money and yeah. they like they do whatever they need to do to get by, but just wait for that Trump money. Like the rest of it. I mean, how yeah. long are people gonna wait for? Yeah. Well, Some people don't need to qualify. Time is a factor. Yeah, that was, that was like my whole view on it. Just, you know, if you are going to do it, target it on, you know, the actual problem, you know, what your, ta- what, what your message is supposed to be about. But, you know, you, I will say, it, I, don't, I don't think that there were any casualties or anything that were at least reported last night. Not, I don't, I don't know. I, I, sure I, I saw is. some stuff that there was somebody got shot, but I don't know if they anything happened to them uh, there was a video that i don't know i don't think it was in grand rapids or anything here but like in another state for the riots there were like well, i know in De- i know in detroit there was like a 19 year old kid that um got shot by like some anti-protesters i think what it, what it said <clears throat> i don't know yeah. there was a video of someone getting just stomped out like people were just, like i don't even think they they knew why they were beating up this person like they were just Again. Wait, yeah, was that the guy? I think are you or no? What Josh said was that the guy that was um, running or whatever, I, and some some guys, some anti protesters or whatever, like pulled up on him in a truck yeah. or something and shot yeah. him down, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was fucked up too. I mean, messed up. Whoops. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. It's that's what I'm saying though. Like, it's all gray. Tony's right. It's just it's all gray, dude. Okay, so can we just start 2020 over, or should we just go to 2020? I know, right? Jeez, man. 2020 is such... It's so heavy already, dude. We're not even... Uh, we're not even halfway. We're about to be halfway through. We just now hit the halfway mark, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. A lot going on in 2020. Not a good one for the history books, gentlemen. So... <laughs> Do you think anything positive is going to come from, like, any of these riots that are sparking up and, like, all over the country? Honestly, you, you, you can only hope. Like, I hear this morning there was actually quite a few people that were willing to give up their time. And, and like, there was tons of people out cleaning this morning. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, no matter, like, how bad it is and, like, what people are doing, like... This is definitely going to stick in people's minds before, like, they decide to do something, right? You, people don't want this to happen again. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. tough to say. I mean, like, I'm not trying to be, like, a downer, but, like, like, I look at it as if, like, like, me and Mark were talking about this earlier, like, we don't condone the rioting and the looting at all, but honestly, like I was telling Mark, like, I just... I understand, like, some of the frustration that people get, like, the injustice that has happened in America for for so long. Like, it's, it's just crazy that, like, it's, it's continuing, and it, it will still continue from we, we don't know when. Um, so, you know, you can only hope that, like, people will realize just, like, and not do dumb shit, like literally just kill a guy for no reason. <laughs> but I mean, like people, like it just hasn't stopped, right? and, and and it probably will never will stop. But you you can just only hope that like only good will come out of this, hopefully. Yeah, because I mean, like even like if someone is just like whatever, I'm gonna do this thing. I know it's wrong. I don't care what the you know what happens after that. Like, yeah. I think I think action will be taken a lot quicker against those people now. You know what I mean? Well, but, yeah. yeah. I mean, I do believe that if they were, if like, honestly, I think this could have prevented at least a decent amount of protesting and rioting. If like, literally, that guy that that was just like his knee was on that dude. If he when he got let go, got fired. If he would have got arrested the moment they let him go. Like, I think that would have made people just feel like at least the justice system is somewhat working. Thank you. I get that. Like, but there, I mean, I there like... is a procedure to go through. 
That's yeah. that's the only thing. I understand that there's a procedure, but I understand where you're coming from too. That you'd want yeah. him to be arrested right away. Yeah, like I, I think that's where really a lot of the anger stemmed from was just the fact that like you let this motherfucker kill a guy, took a couple like a day just to even fire him, and then after that yeah, it, it like took like four a couple days. Yeah, and then the, and then and then a few days after that to even arrest the guy, and it's now, just like. Now like, what about the other three? people the other three officers i heard that There's, yeah. it, nothing happened to them yeah and that's yeah and that's another big injustice like i say like like they again you look at they cops, were hold, and they i'm were not all holding them down at first right yeah like well they, they yeah, said that there was like two other cops from yeah there was like they were saying like there was two other cops like on his like legs too but you couldn't see because it was behind the car but like and the, again the that's one, another the big one thing. dude in front who like even though he was like saying like everything people were saying to get off of him, he could have turned around and been like, "Yo, just get off of him." <laughs> but would they have listened to him though? I don't know. I mean, I mean, at least he tried, right? And we that's the whole that. point. What? They didn't try. I, uh, I mean, if you watch the video, he wasn't saying nothing to him. Oh, is that clear? Yeah, I, I refuse to watch it. I can't watch it. I can't. Yeah, no, like those guys literally just stood there, and like, and that yeah. again. It's the craziest part where you were like, again, I'm not like a cop hater. I, I don't think like cops are necessarily just like trash or anything. Um, but it, you you are supposed to have this justice system and you, you have these people that enforce it. And literally the people that are supposed to enforce it are just kind of abusing their power. Yeah. Like... The, the citizens that are trying to tell them to stop, they can't do anything about that. They could literally be in the same situation as the guy that was on the ground if they, they, they interfered. Right. But, you know, so, like, you, you watch the people that are supposed to protect and uphold, you know, the justice literally go against everything. It, it's, it's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, it's yeah. like the way it my bad. The way it was explained to me um, was it's almost like you know, you know, it's like the power that you know, or almost like just the, the confidence that you know that you know that you'll be safe if you act a certain way or or be a certain way, like you know, and, and that's not just like you know what what we're talking about now as far as just like you know abuse of power and and taking people's lives, taking innocent lives of people, you know. Um, like abuse of power as far as like, you know, even women or like how they talk to women or, you know, I've, I don't know if you guys know anybody, but I've heard a couple of stories of, of, you know, just that, you know, that kind of behavior. I don't even want to speak on that, but, but just behavior you know, from cops towards women. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, just a, abuse, abuse of power, abuse of power is a good way to put it, but it's like a demeanor, you know, and that's not like Tony said, it's not everyone. It's not every single one, but just like, why does that come with the job title? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the, that's comes down to partly with training and the policies. And I think that the policies are kind of like shit pretty much. Cause yeah, I know that guy had prior complaints and stuff like that. When you have like 12 complaints on your record, you shouldn't be a cop. You should. Yeah. There's no like, way you should be a cop. With exactly. that many, shit like I that. I didn't even know he had that many. Holy yeah, he had like twelve like complaints throughout his career or whatever. So, like, like that's something that I would. Why is he even a cop in the first place if he has that much? Like, there should be like he should only have like maybe a few just because you know some people are gonna like hate you no matter what. But like, there's no way you should be able to have twelve and still have a a job. Hell no, dude. How? How does that happen? And then you know what that makes me wonder, Steve? Like, what if, <laughs> what if twelve is low? <laughs> yeah, like I don't know, you know what, I mean? what the What's normal the norm? is. Like twelve exactly. might be. Who knows? Twelve might actually be low. And like, what if they just expect cops to get complaints? Like they just they just treat it like it's a normal thing. And you know, it's like one of those things, like the fucking, uh, you know, like a uh, um, what do you call it? Like in the office, like suggestion box. Like you drop a suggestion in there, that suggestion could have been from 2017. Guess what? Don't nobody ever look at that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so like, what if it's just like a complaint and like for Bill, and it's just like, oh, put it in this file, but no one ever goes through that shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What if it's just a normal thing? Yeah, I don't know. Like, like, yeah, like you said, I 
12 could be low. Who knows? I, I'm sure someone knows, but I don't know. That sounds like a lot for yeah. for someone who's supposed to be like in the public service and yeah. like could like take someone's life essentially. So yeah, what was uh what was Jeff's um? Dang, I wish he was here so I could ask him. But uh, <laughs> his Chris Rock joke, <laughs> like it was hilarious. It made all the uh made all the sense in the world. Like Chris Rock posted something. Dang, I shouldn't even brought it up because now I don't. You talking about the thing with like the bad apples? Uh yeah, or no the uh where he said uh the job uh what do you say you're not allowed to to be or certain jobs are, shouldn't be allowed to have bad days or something like that or what was that? I thought you said like bad apples. Oh maybe so something yeah. like you're you know oh, oh, yeah, yeah. bad apples like yeah we were yeah. talking about the uh oh you had that uh you, know, you have a bad job? day uh in like an airline. Oh yeah, bad pilots. Like, uh, yeah, like a bad apple. Like, you can't. You're not. Like, some jobs just shouldn't be allowed to have bad apples. Like, or no, he's like, I get it. I get it that some that some people have some positions have bad apples. But he's like, some jobs should just shouldn't be allowed to have bad apples. He's like, you don't you don't see pilots. What was the what was the phrase though? You don't see pilots saying, well, I guess I'm just gonna. You on the I, wrong plane today. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I'm just gonna crash this plane. Or sorry, or he's that. No, he says you don't see a pilot saying, "I guess I'm going to try to land this plane." Their intention yeah. is to land the plane, <laughs> like right. Mm -hmm. So he's like, he's like, some some job titles just should not be allowed to have some of those bad apples. And I'm like, wow, it's funny because you like, it's just like. Something like that right in front of our faces just like it makes all the sense in the world though, but we just never thought of it, you know? Like he's right. <laughs> like I wouldn't want to get on a plane knowing like sometimes some some pilots are just bad, right? <laughs> I expect Thank every you pilot for flying Dodo Airlines will be crashing into the ground here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. I expect whenever I get on a plane that this motherfucker's been trained. He's gone through extensive training, you know. <laughs> but like, I mean, it's he's Chris Rock is right, man. It's almost like that's what you should expect out of like our law enforcement, you know. Like, we live and breathe by these laws, <laughs> and yet <laughs> our country is actually in such turmoil. Like, now I don't know if this is just because of the Rona, but like. Or if people are just like actually sick of seeing this kind of crap happen, but I mean that's why it's great for me because I 110 percent understand the frustration. Would I have acted it out like this? Probably not. But I, I have the I'm able to sit back and just kind of. You just you messed know. up my shit. Who joined, Jeff? Uh oh. <laughs> Dang. Hey, you play fucked up games. You win fucked up prizes, man. <laughs> you and Jeff. So oh, let's see. We got a comment here. If those twelve were dismissed, then it's not bad. But the union would do its best to get them dismissed. Is that your sure. dad, Steve? Yeah. Like union, <laughs> you know, union's only job is to like try and do its best to, you know, protect their people. Like. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. They're not gonna. They're not gonna vote for the other side. They're not gonna look at it and be like, "Well, you know, these were kind of bad, actually." <laughs> we're not gonna represent you, right? Yeah. I'm paying union dues for. <laughs> <laughs> you you have to defend my dumb ass whether I want you know whether you want to or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I mean, yeah. Well. You, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, you know what I'm saying, right? You know, I'm not saying right? I'm a dumbass. I'm saying I'm saying for them that they're, the, you know, <laughs> you know, right, right. You like, know, like, like I, I understand like unions are needed, you know, because you know certain certain situations like to protect like the majority of workers. But man, sometimes I feel like unions are just there to like make sure that the bad people still get their jobs. You're a manager. Whoa. <laughs> You're a manager, dude, so you might feel like that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, papa te lapa. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I, there was a point where I, I would have liked to have believed that unions are there to help people. Yeah. I think so. Huh? 
Did you think so? And then you actually see all the scumbaggery that still <laughs> yeah <laughs> that still goes on. <laughs> Sometimes I think unions can be a good thing, though. Like I said, like I understand there's some instances. I think it's all perspective. Yeah. yeah. It's all perspective. Well, any of you guys go down there and help clean all that shit up? Because I know I didn't. Okay. No. You will not find me anywhere near downtown. Yeah. Anytime soon. I did not want to be anywhere near downtown. I didn't want to be. It's sad to say, like, I don't want to be like. You know, like go down there, and then all of a sudden it's like, "Hey, you! Were, I saw you last night on the TV. It was you, man." No, I'm just a black guy. Calm down. It wasn't yeah. me. Yeah, man. Uh, one of my one of my buddies on Facebook, I, I think, I think he said that he was asked to leave when he was down there cleaning up just because he was wearing all black or something like that. But anyone that looked like they might have potentially been a protester or were going to start protesting, they just asked them to leave. That's crazy. Yeah. There was, uh, on the video I was watching, there was a bunch of dudes just driving by calling all of the people that were out there, like, that late, like, messing with the cops and stuff, terrorists. They just yelling out their window. Agreed, Mr. Herbert. Yeah. Seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. Oh, you ain't. You can go get pulled over and get a $500 fine if you do that. <laughs> is that a, is that, <laughs> is, is that just Grand Rapids or is it like the cities around from, it? From what I saw, it was just the city, like Grand just Rapids, the like the Rapids. city. Yeah. We killed Kentwood, right? That. I'm Wyoming. Uh, Wyoming. Yeah, I and I think you're Kentwood in Parliament? Yeah, I'm like right, yeah. I'm like exactly in the corner. I always want to keep me in the corner, man. Tony's Grand Rapids, yeah. though. Hey, Tony, stay your ass inside, man. Yeah. What I'm doing, bro? Hey, I'm trying to hey, stay safe up in hey, here. Stay you know? inside, man. Tony, I heard you got the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening for that door, but I don't get no pizza. Plus, I heard you had some milk and cereal. No cereal. Get a clock for Detroit. Man. You know, you, you picture Usher driving down the street at 7 o'clock, cl uh, cop pull him over. What are you doing? He said, it's 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top. He said, no, I know it's 7 o'clock, but why are you out here, though? <laughs> it's well, like uh, cruising the streets. He cut the song <laughs> off. <laughs> he said, cruising the streets. He said, are you essential? <laughs> he said, "Yeah, I got a real pretty, pretty little oh, thing man. that's waiting for me." He said, "That is not essential. Get your ass out." <laughs> you know, like, there was um... registration. Um, I'm I'm Ursher. <laughs> there was a, a, a sketch with way. Usher in it where they were saying like anything man. like when you're having to do bad news, if it was Usher delivering it for you. It makes it all better. And it was just like this funny skit about like people getting denied like claims or like getting fired or something like that. And he's like, ah, I just, I just can't do it. But I have something that'll make you feel better. And then fucking Usher comes out of nowhere and you just start singing, letting them know. Oh man, I gotta find that skit. That shit is funny. That's a, that's a terrible thing, uh, Josh. Josh, <laughs> big fan. <laughs> That's a terrible yeah, thing, yeah. man. Up, yeah, fix that name. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel uncomfortable saying it. Yeah, <laughs> you work <laughs> out. I appreciate um, all my fans. Oh, all, God. all one of them. <laughs> <laughs> he said all one of them. That one is pretty important, huh? Yeah. It's, it's the biggest one. No, I know, I know what it takes to have to have to plan a wedding, and then. Uh, oh, well, I thought you were gonna have say, I know what it takes to be Josh's biggest fan, but. Uh, no, I don't. What? <laughs> <laughs> it must take some kind of. It takes a lot. I know it does, and I don't have it. I'm just letting you know. And <laughs> I don't have it in me. Can't do it, sir. Can't do it. <laughs> Wait, Josh Shadow is number one fan was taken. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. 
So he said, so you decided to go with Josh Shadow as biggest fan? Same thing, right? Uh, just playing it safe. Just playing it safe, Mr. Herbert. That's all, man. That's all. Crazy in the streets, ma. It's crazy out here, man. It's crazy out here. Uh, but I don't. I don't want to talk about the riots or the George Lloyd things anymore. Or the uh, possible uh, resurgence of coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just want to. I just want everyone to be safe, man. I uh, just want everybody to be safe. But on that tip, <laughs> see, I did their safe tip too, because. Nope. Anyways, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to follow. <laughs> I'm trying to follow. <laughs> any new news, dude? Any new shows? Any new movies? I didn't watch any of Space Force yet. I've been <clears throat> meaning to. I watched the whole thing. Space it was Force. it was just okay. It was kind of just it like was, a uh, silly. What's his name? Uh, Steve. Uh... Steve Carell. Steve Carell. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't watch that either. I didn't watch it yet. It looked interesting, though. Yeah, he's like a general that becomes, like, the in charge of the U.S. trying to do, like, a, uh, like, make a new space, like, branch of the, like, army. So, like, huh. they're trying to get back up into space. <laughs> and all the problems yeah. that, like, come along with it, so. Is it, like, a comedy? Or in the U.S. Like, went to it's space a comedy, yesterday. but... It's not like laugh out loud comedy, really. It's just like subtle watch, stuff. Did you watch the Apple TV one with Steve Carell? No. What was it? Uh, it was another, just another show that he had that was exclusive to Apple. I just didn't know if you watched it and if you could compare, like how good it was. No, I hadn't seen that. So, what would you rate Space Force? Like a six. Dang. What's that on the Marlin scale? On the Marlin? Yeah, that's probably about a, that's probably about like a four or five. <laughs> really? Just like one lower? <laughs> like one or two? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, a, three, I was a three is not good. You know, four, four or five, you know, it's okay. It's not, not the greatest. And there isn't like a seven, eight or nine usually. And then, you know, you got your 10s. Oh, dude, you, even Mr. Herbert gave it a 5. What? Wow. <laughs> All right, Steve Carell or Will Ferrell, Steve? Will Ferrell. Mm-hmm. What? You too, Tony? Mm-hmm. He's a... He's a... <laughs> he's a mm-hmm. I need a he's a, mm-hmm. Will Ferrell? Josh? Well, I know you're a big office there, Mark, so obviously we know. <laughs> oh, hold on. Don't tell the people yet, Steve. Dang. <laughs> I mean, I would say Will Ferrell, too, just because I don't even watch The Office. So. Oh, that's why you say Will Ferrell, though? What the hell? <laughs> Marlon? Mm-hmm. Will. <laughs> Will? Oh, oh, Will. Will? He said Will. He said one thing. He said Will. <laughs> what was that? What was that, huh? <laughs> he said Will. <laughs> Uh, I'd probably go with uh, Steve Carell. Hey, Steve Carell. Ha ha, Steve. It was still a surprise. Anyways. <laughs> uh, if I had to pick. I, honestly, I wouldn't pick either. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here surprise, we go. motherfucker. Yeah, that was a twist, dude. <laughs> Why? I mean, you know I'm going to ask. Why? Get you some M. Night Shyamalan. What? Why? He's like, get you some what? M. Night Shyamalan. What? <laughs> Hit you with a twist. What a twist! <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I said will, but not strong will. <laughs> Dang I think, it! I think a lot of people just kind of like overhype them. I'm like one of those people. Like if something, if someone's like really obsessed with something, I just don't like it. Like remember back in the day when you were hooked on like pop tarts? Oh my gosh! Here we go. We can't <laughs> ever just let the pop tarts go. Wait, what flavor pop tarts? The brown sugar one. Oh, right? oh my gosh! Yeah, I don't even fucking ones. know what it was, but this dude they <laughs> always ate pop tarts. Was, was it? Like, was it cherry? Extra no. cherries. 
Mary Poppins. It was girl. like the Ew. fucking most annoying thing ever. <laughs> hey, Mr. Herbert, I was I was smashing those pop tarts, Mr. Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> if you were wondering about the the pop tart expenses, yeah, you were yes, wondering exactly. where your pop tarts went. <laughs> I was SDS. I was smashing his pop tarts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I only ate like one or two. I'm joking though. Like bags or like no one pack oh, boxes. One pack. <laughs> one pack. Bo- boxes. 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 Eight pop tarts for you. Except for the week Mark was over. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, uh, who ate my pop tarts? <laughs> That's good. Those are good times, man. Wait, so I know what you're saying, though. <laughs> you're saying that I ruined pop tarts for you because I ate them at Steve's house? Because you were obsessed with them. I wasn't obsessed. Pop tarts are good. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you being obsessed with pop tarts. Right oh, gosh. Huh? Wait, you got pop tarts right you now? Eat them straight? I don't actually. For some reason, I don't have pop tarts. We gotta start getting some pop tarts around here. See? Just like that, uh, 2020 just keeps going farther and further down the fucking rabbit hole. I can't like Pop Tarts. No, motherfucker, no. Stop it. Why? Why can I not like Pop Tarts? That's craziness. I know it is, but the way it's gotta I, be. I got you. Can you like the Tulsa Sturdles? Oh, I was, gonna say, that's what I was gonna say, man. No, I don't. I don't need any. Kind of pastries like that, if the, if it's even considered a pastry, I don't even fucking know. <laughs> you guys like those toaster strudels? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, what's up, man? <laughs> I told you not to say anything. <laughs> I, I, I said I said you could be in here, but I told you to ask not to say nothing. <laughs> I did. I told him. <laughs> Um, no, all right, that's gonna be a decline on that one. I know. <laughs> that was a, I'm a pop tart guy, dude. Shut up. <laughs> Did you just eat them straight out of the, out of the box? You oh yeah, it's it another thing. Cold or um, heated up? Oh man, okay, I know there's gonna be some judgment here. Oh, uh, all right, here we go. Dude, you know, I uh, ate them up the package. You, I mean, I never uh, really. <laughs> I mean, I warmed them up a couple times, but I wasn't. Uh, I mean, it wasn't really working for me that well. Uh, what do you mean? You warmed every different. single pop tart. Every single pop tart you ever ate, you warmed up first, dude. No, I'm just saying. It's it depends better. on the day. Sometimes I like them like toasted. Sometimes I don't. See, it's just always better toasted. It's just a matter of they, convenience. They are good. Yes, they are good toasted. But I mean, honestly, I can do it without the toastedness, dude. I mean, I can do it maybe once a week, not toasted. Grilled chicken. What was your address again? I'm on my way. <laughs> you see Tony get up. You see Tony uh, get up. Right, come back. Well, play. <laughs> oh man! Oh, look at him leave. Hey, <laughs> no more. You gotta be on for the pizza, Tony. Yeah. He said maybe golf. <laughs> oh, you be out there golfing, Steve. Yep. Out there swinging the clubs. Does it feel good to be outside, Steve? Yep. Oh, that fresh Rona. Whoa. Oh gosh! It smells like Rona. You can't say yes to that one though. Right. Uh, yeah, it's just man, what is going on in 2020, man? It's just a bunch of negative. No, this year's been shit, man. Yeah, I was trying to put it lightly, but yeah, let's. No, let's no, no. Back. Once my Japan trip got canceled, I already knew. Oh, I already knew man. that shit was downhill. Tony's had go. it. <laughs> I, I've had, had it. it. I have had it. Tony say I've had right it. Side, I am planning to try to go again next year. <laughs> hey. Uh that is one uh, thing. Well, I don't know. I won't be traveling anytime soon, but that's one thing this made me realize it's actually kinda of crazy. It makes me want to travel more, if that makes any sense. But like I said, uh not anytime soon. Hey man, we still got the orchestra coming up if it's not cancelled by October. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tony. Yeah, he, 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 can't, he can't go. So, <laughs> Just, uh, Dude, speaking speaking of Kingdom Hearts, did you guys see Disney Plus might be picking up the Kingdom Hearts series? What? Yep, I that. Yeah, they're possibly what? one of the TV show. Oh, 
We're so excited, aren't we, Steve? They're doing a show. Did you, did you even finish Kingdom Hearts, Mark? No, but what, I bet you, you I can finish all of them before our show comes out, dude. Uh, I don't think so. Oh yeah. <laughs> I usually don't watch animated shows, Mark. Huh? I usually don't watch animated shows. Oh man. Oh, when did Kingdom Hearts three come it's out? It's not animated. It's uh, it's built. I think the pilot they said they're gonna make an Unreal, so it'd just be like the video game. Oh, so, yeah. Animated. Well, oh. not animated. Essentially I animated. Think, I think Kingdom Hearts came out, what was that, last January? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been a whole year and a half, and you still haven't even finished this. The last boss. That's what you're on, right? Yeah. I guess I'll just jump on there and finish this, y'all, because I'm bringing this up. <laughs> hey, man. I, I understand. I do that quite often, you know? <laughs> yeah, Did you finish Final actually... Fantasy, Mark? No, and I yet, dude. I'm actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a Mark over work. here, turn into Josh over here, man. I did finish oh, that shit. one. Shit, that's an insult, bro. Oh, that's an insult. You're not country. finishing games, man. You just quit. <laughs> oh. Hey, welcome yeah. to the club, Mark. Oh, oh what? my god. And he welcomed you. Even that I wasn't able to stay home and platinum the game like you, Steve. I'm actually out here essential. Hey, that's. That's not nice, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you still had like three months, like two months to complete the game. Yeah, but I'm also trying to start an entire line for an entire business that I don't see any benefit from, even if I did call off. So guess what? I'm going to work and doing that. Yeah. He said, Steve, you don't matter. Steve, <laughs> <laughs> you really want to go there. We can, but we're on the pod, so I'd rather not. <laughs> You crazy as hell, Mark. You, is that is that Rockgar talking right now? The no, demon, but I just the I demon of the out, I put that on somebody else because it's just like dude, I'm trying to prioritize and dictate my time the best way possible, but just like my fuse is short when it comes to like being able to quarantine and then having to work because of other factors in play. <laughs> so you don't want to be essential, right? Uh, I'd much rather be able to quarantine myself, but I mean, we're finally, I mean, since we're talking about it now, but I, <laughs> He's like, I didn't want to talk about it. I know, I didn't, I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> I, I can't remember. The reason why I didn't want to talk about it is because I can't remember if I said where I worked on here or not, like in a previous episode. <laughs> I don't think you have. Okay. No, well, certain I'm businesses not. are getting tested, uh, you know, so my buddy who works at a certain business is now getting tested, um starting testing next week yeah. uh, i'm kind of nervous dirty i'm, I'm kind of nervous for him because uh you know i heard that those uh big old long q-tips they got to go far man they got to go real yeah. far like touch yeah. your brain all the way uh, to the brain all the way to the brain <laughs> so i heard Wait. somebody so far somebody said it tickles and then somebody said they know it started bleeding so i'm like oh hell no <laughs> it's for him so for him i'm like damn that's messed up dude <laughs> So, like, they actually implement the brain sucker jutsu right there? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably it just like just if he was picking his nose. He would have gotten a bloody nose anyway. <laughs> Yo, that's a good old finger, dude. <laughs> you probably shouldn't be digging in your nose. <laughs> probably, it all also probably comes down to who's giving it, like, who does it. Some people are probably better at it than other people. So. Oh, what are you got... talking about? I guess so. Oh. <laughs> I hear there's also a couple different different testings too i hear that there's like a cotton swab one that but it takes longer for that to be tested and verify compared to the the other way <laughs> yeah so you know, certain tests been... also only test to see if you've had it already and if you have like antibodies for yeah. It. So, yeah that's right. that's the one i think that that's the easy one well that's the one that he, his company should have went for but um yeah, this one, I mean, it just tells you if you have it, like, currently. So it'll tell you, it'll tell everyone at his company if they have it, like, on Monday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, <laughs> just, I mean, I guess, I guess if it's, like, to bring the company comfort, then sure, I get it. But, I don't know, it seems kind of pointless to to me, but his company can do whatever they want to do. So, whatever, cool. <laughs> but, yeah. They can do whatever they like. Yeah, so he, he was just nervous about that. He's been nervous about it all week, but I was just like, yo. <laughs> I would take Steve's words and be like, hey, it's just like digging in your nose, man. You ever gone to the moon and back, dude? 
because I haven't. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. But tell anyways, me, tell me it'll be all right, Mark. You say you probably yeah. should go get tested. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, enough serious talk, dude. Ugh. <sighs> so, I actually found this list, right? Uh, list of what? Maybe. maybe oh, He's talking about his top ten Instagram. Sites. I mean, top what? ten porn stars. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's top ten IG honey bunnies. One twenty. I actually have another friend that actually does <laughs> <laughs> on his computer. <laughs> Uh, he actually said this to me the other day. If you want me to read them off, if not, it's cool. I get it. <laughs> you have some uh, more friends, Mark. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my that's my IG friend. <laughs> yeah, I knew Steve was gonna say something like that. Messed up part is, I know a guy who does. Anyways, <laughs> no, it's a uh, top ten. Uh, maybe Tony can appreciate. Actually, all of us did. All of us play. best PlayStation games of all time, dude. I know all time series of PlayStation yeah. or like uh, PlayStation original. I think they are. That's a good question. Oh yeah, yep. Uh, PlayStation original. Okay, just PlayStation original. That's the top. I one. believe so, Crash yeah. Bandicoot. Maybe not. I think they're just best PlayStation games. I believe. So just the first one or all of them? Nope, just the first one. Looks like okay. Yep. So, yeah, it's kind of a tough one. Uh, well, let's go through it, dude. Crash <laughs> Bandicoot. He's on the cover. Viral the Dragon. Would you just let me start, dude? Twisted Metal. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's on here. What? Hold on. All right, 25, dude. Parappa the Rappa. Uh, Kick off. Kick off. I don't remember. still remember, dude. That game was sweet. Would what I have it at 25, it? though? No. Well, let's see what the rest of this looks like. You said no? No. Why? That it's game was tough, good. Man. Uh, I played a lot of regular PlayStation games. So. I know you did, dude. That's why I was like, you probably appreciate <laughs> it. But yeah. let's get through the rest of the list and let's see. What about 24 Odd World? I remember that I game actually game hated Odd World. I did not I, like I never Odd liked Warrior. it. I, I've yeah, never I enjoyed that game, yeah. <laughs> You say you never enjoyed it? Nope. Ooh, apparently it was pretty popular, dude. Number 24 on IGN's yeah. list, dude. Yeah, I know it's pretty popular. People love, like, <laughs> dude, you it. <laughs> Just not a fan. 23. I'm about to use Crash... my admin controls on you, Gump. Yeah. Crash Bandicoot 3 warped. Uh... The Crash Bandicoot series were good. Like, I, I don't yeah, know if I, the third... I, I, I don't know if it'd be, like, it'd be, like, uh... 23? Or top 23? You don't think so? I think so. It definitely, it, I think it, so. yeah, it'd, it'd be in the It's top, like a classic. Yeah. It's a classic place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You agree, Steve, or no? I didn't play it. Oh, I'm sorry. Crash Bash. There weren't, there weren't that <laughs> oh, many wow. different games I played, so. Crash, Crash Bash. Bash. My library Crash is pretty was small. <laughs> Crash Team Racing. Yeah, oh. I know. It's not a crash. All right, number, 20, number 22, Spider-Man. Yeah, no, Whoa. that was legit. That was PlayStation over. 1? Yeah, PlayStation yeah, 1, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What? That game was good. That game was good. It was good. It was good. What about, uh, the, what about the movie one for PS2? Was it Spider-Man uh, 3? Yeah, man. All those are good. Like, the sandbox Spider-Man games just work for some reason. Like, something yeah, about just being closer. able to, like, swing through the, you know, everyone wants to swing through New York, dude. If you had have it, it was like it was like Grand Theft Auto before Grand Theft Auto was a thing. Basically, you could just swing, be swinging through nice sunny day, dude. See somebody getting robbed on the ground, dude. You swing down, uh, haymaker him, two piece him like Jeff did at old dude, you know. And then just guess what? <laughs> Get away. Or you can stay, if it's a nice young lady, you can ask her for a kiss, right, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> and then swing off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody wanted to be Spider Man. Um, this next one, I don't know, man. I didn't like, but twenty one Mega Man Legends two. Oh yeah, the Mega Man Legends. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that, I was that, I, that was like the real I, life three D one. I right? put that a little higher, man. Higher than twenty one? My my. Yo, Mega Man Legends was sick. Marlon, did you play Mega Man Legends two? Um, not two. Played the. Did you like the first one? 
Mm. It's okay. <laughs> it's not something that I would like personally want to go back and play, but it is uh, it is pretty popular. I will say. Interesting. All right. What about twenty? Uh, Ape Escape. <laughs> now. now oh, talking. here we go. This is his bag right here, dude. Now we're talking. <laughs> I, I thought you I thought you were over here just bullshitting me the whole time. Now you now you got some substance. Now you got some content. Ape Escape, that's your jam, dude. Ape Escape <laughs> was pretty fun. It was, it was. But yeah. it's like we it go was, from like fun. we go from like one of Tony's like staples <laughs> to yeah. the Ape Escape. He said, Now. Everybody was silent too. Everybody let him do it too. He said, <laughs> Now you're talking. I don't even remember Ape Escape. It was just a goofy, like, uh, like a uh, goofy game, dude. Yeah, that had like the little helmets that had like the fucking sirens on their heads. <laughs> crazy, and yeah, crazy, and you... crazy monkeys, dude. I just Man, think of Super bat. Monkey Ball, dude. And... Another staple in the game. <laughs> Is Super Monkey Ball. In there? <laughs> I was like, what? That's a staple in the game for you? <laughs> it's a staple for him. Speaking of staples, dude, number nineteen, Crash Team Racing. Hey. hey. Awesome. Oh, all right. Dude. What? I like that. I don't know the, I, I, I just think out of all the Crash games, Crash Bash was. I was more a fan of Diddy Kong Racing, but Crash yes. Team Racing was pretty we, good too. We we Crash did play a lot racing. of Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy. What was the name of the turtle, Steve? I know you know. Of what? <laughs> the turtle. Turtle what? Diddy Kong Racing. Rap of the rap. Diddy Kong Racing. Capital. I, I don't know. That wasn't for PlayStation wow. though. That no, that's for sixty-four. But I just figured you would know. Nope. The king of all racing games is. You still, want me to fact check uh, it? I got Mario you. Kart, I think I played more Diddy Kong Racing than I did Mario Kart. Like to be honest, like for sixty four. Really? Uh, I think it was kind of a tie. I played, I played more, probably Mario more Kart. Diddy Kong, just because I owned it. I didn't own Mario Kart. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I was on the I got on the Nintendo bandwagon late with N sixty four, but my cousin had a Nintendo and, and so I didn't really play too many of those games early. I was my main thing my main thing was the PlayStation duel. Haha <laughs> Speaking of The Turtle's name was Tipped Up. <laughs> oh, no wonder Steve likes this game. Conquer's in there, dude. Oh, <laughs> Steve's jam is Conquers, dude. <laughs> That's a good game, though. That's a good game. How many games would you say you've actually played, Steve? I don't know. Not that many. Like, do you consider the, the, the expansion? Like, do you include the, the expand, expansion packs individual games? No, not not including <laughs> Wild War. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, one big old game, one big ass game, dude. <laughs> But All right, what's next still... on the list? All right, dude, dang. Number 18, uh, Siphon Filter. I I never played the it. second one was really good. The first one was very mad for me. Dang, dude, Tony played every single... Have you played every single game so far? <laughs> uh, I, I, all the games you listed, yeah, I've played them. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's see. All right, now at this point, I just want to see if Tony played all these. <laughs> <laughs> I never played Siphon Filter, so... Uh, seventeen Soul Reaver Legacy of Kane. Heard of it? I know it was really popular. I played it. But I never played it. Dang, yeah, Legacy played of Kane is pretty, pretty popular. Yeah, it was like right, the okay, okay. It has like Blood Rain it was part of like oh. that genre at the time. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, I expected this to be farther up, dude. But number sixteen, Final Fantasy Tactics. Amazing game, dude. Put that nasty ass beer down, Tony, and comment. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, again, it's just. I guess this is the. Again, I have a different genre style of games I enjoy, so like a lot of the games, you know, there are different spots for me. But um, tactics was good. It was like tactics I think good. that was like one of my like the first tactical style game um, that I played. That's um, what got you into the strategy uh, RPG genre, still. Nah, I wouldn't say because that one was like. I was younger, so it was like more complicated. Actually, Josh was the one that got me into it when he showed me, or Josh when he showed me Fire Emblem. I really got into it, but Advance Wars was probably the one that like really got me into those like tactical. Advance Wars like, was oh. the first one that I played. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah I, like, Josh was the original oh, one, but like when Josh showed me like Fire Emblem, I was like, whoa! And just like, he kind of just like blew my mind to me. I introduced Josh to all those, so you can go ahead and thank me, dude. I was. <laughs> well, first, first of all, first of all, Fire Emblem wasn't even your game when we played it, Mark. You uh, was bad. At shit. <laughs> you, you can go ahead and thank me. <laughs> you can go ahead and thank me. <laughs> Nah, it was, yeah, Fire Emblem, man, that's still one of my favorites of all time, but, mm-hmm. um, like, yeah, I still like, like that style over, like, the tactics and, the, like, the, um, the sky is and stuff like that, yeah, those ones are, like, those are forever, wild. Forever, yeah. Fire Emblem has a place in my heart, though, almost kind of up there with Kingdom Hearts, but anyways, are we, oh, are we gonna see that on here? Oh, we gonna see that on here. No, that was on PlayStation 2. No, what? Dang. I was gonna say, like, uh, what? Game versus uh, not PlayStation One. I was, I was hoping it was all the way back to the whole, you know, span. Get to the, the get to Spyro and Twisted Metal. Wow. All right, hold on, dude. Number fifteen, Medal of Honor Underground. Never played it. I think I played that pretty one. Pretty good game. Hey, oh, we got one. Play play <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've played that one. Yeah. Number the metal. On the list, I think metal I played most of, of the Medal of Honor and, games. And I think it was that... Ghost Recon on the thing. The Medal of Honor one was sweet, where you stormed the beach like up the thing. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah, that one was sweet. Did you play this one, Tony? That was dope. Yep. Dang, dude. <laughs> well, at least we got oh. one for Steve, though, dude. We got one <laughs> Steve on the list. Cause I'm not, okay, so the way I imagine this uh, working is the lower we go, I'm assuming those are going to be the more popular ones. So by the time we get to the top five, we should have all played them. Because we all have PlayStation at some point, right? Yep. All right. Mm-hmm. So so we, we got the 15, and Steve's already on the board. So I think we're in good shape, dude. All right, we used to where everyone played everything now at the very yeah. least, right? Yeah. yeah. I think you still have played. So now I'm, like I said, I'm still interested in seeing if we can get one that you haven't played. But we getting lower, you probably played all. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, fourteen, Final Fantasy nine. That should be definitely number two or one. Why is that all the way? No, no, I think it needs to go a little lower. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Wait, didn't Steve play that one too? Yeah, that was that one. goofy. That, goofy. that was a good one, right, Steve? That goofy cartoon-looking sure. one, right? No, nah, it I was liked it. Uh, Zidane. Uh, the double... Steve, was that was that your first Final Fantasy? Yeah, that was my first played? one. And he yeah. loved it, dude. He loved it. <laughs> my first one was eight, so that's the only one I played. I'm sorry, dude. I only wish yours could be like mine and Steve's and be nine, dude. <laughs> yeah, my first one was seven. I was on the seven train late. I was in the eight train late, but boy oh boy, I made that nine train, and I loved it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Anyways, uh, <laughs> all right. Interesting number thirteen, dude. Silent Hill. Um, I used to watch my cousin play those. I didn't like. Them. Oh man, remember what was his name? Was it John L. Marlin? No. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we, we played that. <laughs> I remember you guys talking about man. some babies or something like that. Yeah, the crack babies, man. Crack babies. Oh my gosh, dude. Steve, you play this one? Uh, no. Mm, interesting. interesting. I rented a couple of them and played. <laughs> you played the Silent Hills, dude? Yeah, Marlon, remember when we were I playing there? I remember Mar- <laughs> or Tony playing it. Oh, dude, that's not my. That's not. That's not for me, dude. <laughs> <sighs> that was back then where, like, the horror games were actually trying to, like, freak you out surprise you yeah um interesting 12 <laughs> yeah uh 12 is spyro 2 ripto was rage hey i, I played that one yeah. there we go hey. i know he played that one for sure Jeez. is this too low to play all of them. should this be higher uh Whoa. probably not higher i'm surprised it honestly it was like not near like crash but mm-hmm. well i think we're gonna get into some crash i think crash bandicoot the first like the first one was an amazing game so hopefully first one was it. pretty good yeah yeah 11 is uh driver oh yeah i have actually not played that hey wow all the way to 11 that's crazy dude i i've, I've seen it like i i've always watched it and like looked at it i was like huh driver but that's the one with the yellow car on the on the front cover. I'm assuming it's some type of racing game, Steve. Yeah, and at the time, I it. dang. 
So you play all the time. It was all about like. I don't know if I played that. Was it Gran Turismo? I know you played this though, Marlon. You ready? This is what I'm talking about right here. Number 10, dude. We're getting into the top 10 now here. Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Hey! Over the ball. Well played. Over the ball. <laughs> I know we all played that. I didn't play it. Dang, I did. Steve. You say you did? I did, yeah. I played all the, cra the, the, the Crash Bandicoot games. The first one was my favorite, though. I didn't play any of them. Dang, Steve. Crash Bash is my favorite. If we're talking about the Crash games in general. <laughs> It was a it was a banger, dude. It was, it was really dude, a we played that for a while. Tank Wars, dude. <laughs> Keep saying that, dude. All right. This is one that I did not get. I wish I did. Uh, actually says PlayStation's most underrated game. Uh or one of PlayStation's most underrated games, sorry. Uh number nine is Vagrant Story. Oh yeah, that? that was a real good ass. Game. I did not play that. I feel like that's I a square game, bro. That one. I know, I know. Let me see if I can buy it, dude. <laughs> uh, if, if you're, I don't know if they have a digital, but I know like the uh, that one's probably like worth a lot of money if you have like the original game. Well, not the original. Yeah, I just want a digital. Dude. I ain't trying to get the original. I'm not trying to pay eighty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you play Vagrant Story, Marlon? Mm -mm. Yeah, that's probably one of them rare boys. Mm -hmm. One of the squares. Rares. <laughs> you see how I did, Josh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Where's, where's Legend of Dragoon, dude? Ooh, good question. Good question. Yeah. Number eight, yeah. though, dude. It's Tekken 3. <laughs> yeah, I played a lot of Tekken 3. I had, had all the Tekken games. Uh, you know what? My dad was actually really good at Tekken 3. He'd like whoop my ass in that game. <laughs> he's bagging and tagging yeah. you, huh? <laughs> Who did he use? Um, did he use Hayachi? I think it was, no, I think it was Lei or Lee, whatever. The one, was that sticks. the one that ran? Dad, I don't want to play anymore. He said, pick was up. that the guy that ran up you and body slammed you? <laughs> oh. He was. Where, where he ran up he your chest? Like a, he, was a, did a flip. he was a cop. Yeah, I think that he was that guy. Yeah, he was like the cop, and like in the later games, like he's like a drunk now, and he does like the drunken boxing style or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Tony, Tony got so good at video games because he vowed to never like lose to his dad ever again, dude. <laughs> Yo, my dad destroyed me in a lot of fighting games when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's messed up. Um, yeah, he served me up pretty good. All right, Steve. I know you played this one, dude. Leisure Suit Larry, dude. Nope. <laughs> no, man, no, man, no, man. Is that really? Not on there? Number seven. Like, nah, it's not. I don't even think we played this one game, is it? I don't want to play that, though. I'm mad I didn't get a chance to play that. I mean, I heard it was. Anyways, number seven. <laughs> number seven is Resident Evil 2, dude. Yep. Oh, yeah. Steve hey, played that. Told you. Yeah. I played all of them. Played. Yeah. Dang. I tried to play them. But man, I just couldn't, and like, I'd watch Steve play it, because I was like, yo, how do you play with these controllers? The, this control scheme is trash. <laughs> just like any other game, man, you play it enough, you get used to it. <laughs> true, true. true. Uh, this is interesting. Number six is Tomb Raider. Um, I played it, but I don't think I ever beat yeah. it. I think my, it was my cousin. I played a little bit of it. Yeah, I played a bit of it. I think I only played the demo. <laughs> when it was on the the oh yeah the yeah this yeah 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 we had to fight was it the bear or something yeah yeah I remember my cousin owning it and then I borrowed it but I, I just I never never beat it I think I rented that from Blockbuster <laughs> and never uh, gave it back dude rest, <laughs> dude oh I definitely <laughs> gave it back prep, dude <laughs> he said no I definitely gave it back yeah I'm <laughs> that that one wasn't a keeper but I did play it. Oh my gosh. All right. <sighs> Dude, <laughs> number five is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Yeah, I played yeah. that. Oh, yeah. We all played we that. We all played that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, playing it at When did it come out? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, dude. Dude. What? Uh, number four is Gran Turismo 2. 
I actually don't think I played that one. I, I actually what? have that one though. I don't really. Think no, 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 no. I didn't have. I didn't have Gran Turismo. I had the other racing game. What was it called? Oh, maybe that's. Uh, what oh, wait, Gran Turismo. Andretti, Andretti Racing. Yeah, Gran Turismo. I have played Gran Turismo. I thought you said. I don't know why I was thinking Grand Theft Auto Two. I was like, I don't think I'm. Oh no, no. no. <laughs> Are you drunk, dude? Are you drunk? <laughs> I'm not. Well, when you're drinking the shitty ass beer. <laughs> 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 he said, I'm drunk off the shitty ass beer. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, my cousin was really into it, so like he yeah. like he got me into it. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't really play a lot of racing games, but I played Gran Turismo. Mm -hmm. Straight hmm. number. It was like was kind of crazy, but <clears throat> um, number three is Castlevania Symphony of the Night, dude. Hey, oh yeah, that is definitely up there. I actually just recently bought that. Like, oh really? Um, yeah, the digital, like, it the, it's not the collectors, but let me see, it's actually up here. Oh, it's Castlevania Requiem. That's what it was. It has uh, Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood. Would you say uh, Castlevania is probably one of uh, the best, like, gaming series of all time, though? Nope. No? I wouldn't. I mean, like, well, like, I've played some of the other Castlevanias. I never really liked it because I felt like how... I mean, I know, I guess it was just technology at the time, but, like, it was, like, really sluggish and boxy. Because, um, like, when those first Castlevanias came out, like, back in the Nintendo days, like, I'm comparing this to, like, Mario, where my man is running smoothly. The button response is, like, you know, when I hit A or whatever, B, my man jumps. <laughs> like... Uh, and I just felt like it was just kind of like a... I mean, I know it's supposed to be like a slower, more methodical type style. Um, but I didn't like the Castlevania series until Symphony of the Night, where I was just like, oh shit, my man is dashing. I can moonwalk with this dude. Uh, I can transform into a wolf and just do crazy shit. Uh, Symphony of the Night was one of the the better Castlevanias. And then like when they got to the handhelds, they made really good Castlevania games. Yeah. Marlon, you said no, it's not. <clears throat> what, dude? Why not? I mean, I just don't think of like. I mean, that... every game has like classic, iconic characters in the series, but like, I just don't. I don't think Castlevania really stands out for me. Okay, I get that. I get it. <clears throat> you put right. like Dante in a game. Oh my gosh. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> iconic characters. <laughs> All right. Speaking of iconic characters. Oh gosh. Number two is Final Fantasy VII, dude. Yep. Fitting? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. Number two? Yeah. I'm pretty yep. sure I know what the first one is. Uh oh. I What's don't. the first one? I don't know. I want to say it's probably Chrono. It's either Chrono Trigger, the remake, or possibly Chrono Cross. Hmm. I would assume, but I don't. I, I Wait, think... Chrono, Chrono Trigger was on Nintendo, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they made the port. Oh, oh. For... yeah, yeah. Did they? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's well, uh... tactics. It was part of tactics. Okay, it's uh, it's actually Metal Gear Solid. Oh yeah, that was also wow. So number one was Metal Gear Solid. Legend Drive Good didn't even make it. That's kind of sad. Along with Chrono Cross? Oh, man. Those are two, two to me, like, games. easily top five games for me. Yeah. Like, in, top, 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 top in, in a top 25, that's actually kind of sad. Yeah. 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 How, well, yeah. I'm going back to the to the title. Just man, to oh, I forgot about well. the Metal Gear, yeah. That, that Metal Gear was... Well, I was just making sure it didn't say most popular games of all time. But, no, it just says, it just says the best PlayStation games of all time. Wow. I am actually very surprised that Legend of Dragoon didn't make it over some of those. Mm -hmm. Like, uh... Yeah, what? The hell is Driver, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like uh, Driver made it up there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that game. You go around, you pick people up, drop them off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised some of those didn't make it, dude. Anyways... The original Crash didn't even made it, and I and I agree with Josh. I think the original Crash is better, at least out of the series, like, like one through three. The original one was better than. Uh, the, I do think the, the Spyro the two is pretty good, but uh, for Crash, man, the first one was. 
Who made this list? Was it IGN? Uh, you said four player. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Speaking of PlayStation, did you guys like? They're doing like a game kind of thing, like Xbox just did, like in a couple days. Sorry. Did you guys see the leak where they said a handful of PlayStation Four games would be backwards compatible after an update? Just a handful. With that, yeah. What the see, heck? when when it, when they do shit like that, that's why I feel like that. When you say stuff like that to me, that means the next gen console is not ready. Yeah. It's kind of like almost disappointing because I was I was hoping for like people would we could bring back like going to the game store, you know, and looking at all those old like PlayStation One, yeah. PlayStation Two nope, games, and being like, "Man, I haven't played this in forever. I'm gonna pick this one up." That's what I, I expect. I know there's a lot of like, I know there there are reasons why they can't just do it easily because there's like a lot of specific contracts with like like gaming contracts that like when they make a game, it, it was supposed to be. It specifically says it's for that system, so like they would have to update contracts and shit like that. But I don't know. I feel like they. I would want a new system, like all that shit to be ironed out. Like have it set for me personally. Like the tech demo looked gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't know. How much? How much better can a game like graphically can a game get until like it's, it's like unnoticeable, you know? Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Like, what do you, you want to see in this game thing? Because I don't think they're. I don't think they're going to show anything off. But I, I think it's just going to be like Xboxes where they just show games. I mean, oh. if they show games, I would at least hope they're good games, and at least have like. Do you want to see new titles. games, or, or do you want to see like continuations? Doesn't matter. I mean, like in my opinion, I think PlayStation in general already had the again my opinion, um, the better exclusive games. Like their exclusive title was great. Like yeah, you're right. Um. I'm assuming I don't I don't know, but I would assume they possibly might do like a either Naughty Dogs I think will probably be one of their their bigger things that they'll release on the the new system. Yeah, it'll be like I don't a... know if it'll be I don't know if it'll be like a new like Uncharted or like they'll do a new IP or something like that. But I feel like Naughty Dogs will, will probably be like a big factor in in the leading. The, well, Naughty Dogs is like one of the bigger companies, mm-hmm. like their exclusives. But yeah, I mean, Sony Computer Entertainment, like, they make pretty good games, too, so... Well, didn't they buy oh, yeah. pretty much, like, a bunch of studios? Yeah, they just bought it, now they... Yeah, well, remember I told you that, that, that thing? They bought, like, a bunch of studios that are under them now, so, like, they're they're under, like, what was it, the um, PlayStation Studios now? Like, that's, like, they're under... All their exclusive is under that studio now. That's interesting, dude. So, like, technically, Naughty Dogs, like, even though they're like they're 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 technically under and owned by PlayStation Studios. Steve, do you have a favorite like game developer? No. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say Blizzard. I was gonna say like not even Blizzard, or like Bungie. Or... I know you. I know you get hard for Bungie, dude. Well, I don't know that, but. Heard, I guess. I it's know. like that's what you told me though <laughs> <laughs> told me that one time <laughs> uh, not even Blizzard none you don't have any specifics you don't just be like wow I'm going to try this game out because like you know just on the merit of Blizzard you know I mean I guess but <laughs> what? <laughs> but I'm not like loyal to any of them really Where's your loyalty, Steve? Where's your allegiance? (laughs) Where's your allegiance? Where's your loyalty lie? Nah, like except for the alliance. That's kind of loyalty, right? Like, I mean, it's not like a betrayal if you play something else, but it's kind of loyal if like you would just try a game based off of a company's merit. Like, I like Square Enix, so if if I see a game, I'm like, "Uh, I don't know about this one, but I'm gonna try it. 
Like, I would try it just based off of the name, I guess, but... I don't know, that's just me. That's a, that's a I don't know, usually to right? try a game, I also, like, have to look at, like, the trailers and stuff like that and see if I... It par- sparked my interest, because that's usually how I gauge what kind of games I'm going to play. And I usually end up liking the games I pick, usually, off of the trailers and stuff, because I usually know what I would want to play. You know what you want, huh? Is that what you tell her when you look her in the eyes, dude? <laughs> no, we don't look them in the eyes, Mark. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. He said we don't look them in the eyes. <laughs> he said, hey, Steve, where, where, do like, you, where do you look them, Tony? <laughs> oh, he looks them in the eye, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, oh, that's no, 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 no. That's but, worth a mark. That's the worst. worst. We got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. He took the bait. He took the bait. I he took the bait. Did. He did. I did. I'm right. He's right. I did, dude. <laughs> Steve Builder, like, look now. I knows what I want. And I want you. <laughs> <laughs> he, got his, he put his, hey, Steve, he putting his Clint Eastwood voice on in the bedroom. <laughs> That's what he told me. I don't know. But anyways. <clears throat> you got a little uh, ass conversation. <laughs> Yeah, you I guys just... definitely be having some weird conversations, man. Alcohol is not uh, scarce the, at Steve's house, dude. The peach is getting to you, Mark. Nah. Yeah, it's gone. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but that that was a uh, top 25 PlayStation. That's what I that's all I had, man. I figured we would take it would take us a while to uh, discuss, and it seems as if it has brought us here did we talk about streets yeah. of rage 4 he said to disappointment yeah i'm surprised some <laughs> yeah. of the games there I played was a lot of, were there, like i mean those were two games the name like legend of Goon and chrono cross that easily should have made it up there in my opinion marlon um, do you have any games that you were surprised to see not in the top 25 mm. i know you're gonna say dude twisted metal no really i didn't play twisted metal mm. no i'm fine with the list it's, 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 what about uh, Digimon? Is that what it's called? Oh, yeah, Digimon. <laughs> that was, was a staple. Oh. <laughs> but it's not everyone's bag. True. And uh, playing those kind of games is super healthy because you fucking, fucking things die. And then, you know, sometimes that causes some anger and some tension to build up. And then you, and know, then you throw, throw your friend's disc and then it breaks and then you never get the back. <laughs> Hey, what about what about, what about Monster didn't, Rancher? I didn't throw the that disc. Was one. I didn't throw the disc. Man. <laughs> Let's just start there. You so easy. You throw your friend's disc and <laughs> so you, you realize you're not even realizing it's your friend's. <laughs> so you throw your friend's disc and break it. So I knew. Like, I knew it was his. I mean, I called him right after I did. I was like, "Oh shit, dude." <laughs> say, yo, uh, I told him, like, hey, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing in uh in Digimon? Is it crazy? That game's crazy, right? He's like, yo, yeah, that game is crazy, dude. It's I think I'm gonna hang crazy. on to it for a little while longer. Yeah, look, I know I said I'm gonna give it to you tomorrow, but <laughs> let me hold this for about a couple more weeks, dude. Hey, what store did you get this from? Just saying, I might have to get my own copy. <laughs> that game's hard to find. That's one of the rare ones, dude. I, I would assume that a lot of these are are hard to find right now. What was Some it called? Monster, Monster, just regular Monster Rancher? Oh, was it Monster Rancher, not Digimon? That's the one that he broke, yeah. yeah I Monster broke the Rancher. Monster Rancher, which <laughs> seems like it was harder to find. <laughs> it was. <laughs> dude, oh, like, I, I, had that fucking, I had that fucking boxcar fucking monster guy from my mom's uh, Whitney Houston CD. <laughs> put that in there got that shit I was like yes took him to the tournament and he fucking died and I was just like yo fuck that shit I will say the story he told me at first I was like I, this was before he told me the game like he, he broke the game but he was like yeah man I'm playing right I enter the tournament I'm doing great and then like I'm about to win and I forgot, like, something happened, and you said, like, the guy got crits, you were, like, you missed an attack or something, like, and then I lose, and then right after the tournament, my monster dies. And then I'm just like, well, I was like, damn, that's, that's fucked up. And then he's like, yeah, so then I got angry, 
Oh, <laughs> I was like, none of just kept one. going with it. <laughs> he yeah. just kept going with it. I was like, Wait, you what? can't even find a copy of the original Monster Rancher, dude. The people are selling the instruction manuals for like 35, 40 bucks. Isn't it just crazy though, like to be Monster able Rancher to... Two is like sixty or seventy. Oh heck no! Nah. <laughs> Isn't it crazy though to be able to say that like we were around like that was twenty five years ago. Isn't it crazy to say that we were around to like see and experience some of those things, Joe? It's a long time. Mm -hmm. We get old. Oh, Tales of Destiny old, Two dude. didn't even make it up there. That, that's definitely like. Oh yeah, Tales of Destiny top ten. It might be like how Marlon said. Like some of those were kind of like just a little too, uh, like niche. You know, like you had to like really be an RPG fan to, to play those, maybe or like. Yeah, I guess know. that's true. But I, like you said, though, I'm with you. Like, I would consider some of those that didn't make the list to be some of, the, like, the best PlayStation games of all time. Mm -hmm. But we're RPG nerds, so. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Yeah. Well. Anybody else got anything else to add, man? No? I had something, but I lost it. Jack and Dexter. That was, on, that, was that, was, that was two. Yeah, that was on the PS2 when it first came out. Hey, dang, you're wrong. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Steven. I got nothing. Oh poop. So, what was Devil May Cry on? That was PS2. Uh, I think so. Yes. Yeah, it came out. All right. It was one of his launch titles. Well, as usual, it has been real. Real, uh, real. <laughs> real, real. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> Catch us on Twitch. Still. Still doing this, right, Steve? We still doing it. We still putting out content, too. We still streaming. We still here, too. We still here. Right? Hey. <laughs> Catch us every mm. Sunday at six thirty, or catch us on YouTube. On the tube, we, man. On the tube. Wait, which? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Nani. <laughs> Nani. Catch us on YouTube on Tuesdays. See all our original content, dude. Go back and watch some of our old stuff too, like us eating fries, Tony eating dollar store cookies, dude. That's uh, as I, I try to. Like they're uh, dude, he was trying to eat it though. <laughs> Look at him. I'm, I'm watching. I'm gonna eat this cookie. <laughs> uh, yeah. Catch y'all next week. Peace. Peace. Pushy. Pushy. Bye bye. <laughs>